Hey guys, so today's video is going to be all about self tanning, my self tanning routine, my favorite self tanners, quick little tips and tricks you can do, just all about self tanning. Before I get started with the video, I have to give a disclaimer. Well, I have to give two disclaimers. Some people are really offended by the thought of self tanning or just offended by people who self tan. I got a comment or I got a few comments in recent videos saying that I should just embrace my natural skin color, which I absolutely do all the time. Most of the time, I'm my natural, like very um, fair skinned self that I am tanned. And I am not offended by my fair skin. I love my fair skin and I always embrace it. I just like to be tan and that's just, I like it. I don't understand why it bothers some people. If you don't like to self tan, do not self tan. That is your life. Those are your decisions. This is my life. These are my decisions. I just used to, it's really bad for you, but I used to sit in the sun all the time and like bake and like tan like that, like when I was younger, which is such a big mistake, you know, because of all, like skin cancer, all the bad things, the sun, like being in the sun too long can cause for your skin. So I don't do that anymore. So I turn to self tanning because it is the healthy way to be tan. Even tanning beds, like they're not good for you. Spray tans are fine. I just haven't been able to find a place around me that spray tans because I would like to go get a spray tan. But anyway, so I like to have nice tan skin. It makes me feel bronzy and summery, and I like it. And I don't see the problem in it. So if you don't like people who tan or don't like anything about tanning or like tan skin, then you should click out of this video because it is not for you. My other disclaimer is that this video is not sponsored. 100% not sponsored. I'm not getting paid to make this video. I wasn't asked to make this video. You got, actually I was asked. You guys asked me to make this video. I've gotten tons of questions about what I use to self tan and little tips and tricks I can give you. So here we go. So I'm, quick, so I'm quickly gonna talk about the tans I like, the tans I like to use, and then I'll go into like little tips and stuff. I'm also gonna tell you guys about a couple of tans that I actually don't like. So the first one I'm gonna talk about is actually my absolute favorite out of all the ones that I've tried. And I know that everyone has been talking about this one and I hate you guys know but I'm like, you know, indie? I'm, no, not indie. But you know, I don't like to fall into the hype of things. But it's really as incredible as everyone says it is, and it is the Loving Tan Deluxe Bronzing Mousse, Instant Bronzer, Self Tanner, and Moisturizer. I have mine in Ultra Dark. Um, this was sent to me because this is like an overseas product. I think they're from Australia. Yes, they are. But they're absolutely amazing. They do ship worldwide, like they ship to the United States. And I do think it's worth the money. Um, if you're big on self tanning, I'm not saying this is the first one you're gonna go out and try. But if you're big on self tanning and you've used a bunch, I highly recommend Loving Tan, even if you are from the States and you pay that extra shipping because it's fantastic. It's the tan that I have on my body right now. And I'm a very, very fair, very fair, the color of paper. I'm very fair and this gets me nice and tan without looking orange or looking green or just looking strange it gives a natural tan a beautiful natural tan as if the sun was tanning me I was very blown away by the results actually the first time that I did it and I had taken that before and after picture I was like holy crap it's beautiful because it's that natural olive color and I like the one in ultra dark. They have like dark, I think they have light and stuff like that, but I like the one in ultra dark because it makes you really dark, but it doesn't make you like so dark that you're like, girl, no. So that's why I highly recommend this one. This one is my favorite one out of all the ones I will be talking about, and this is the one that I recommend the most, but I will talk about other ones. If you are on a major, major budget, I highly recommend the St. Maurice Dark. I bought this on Amazon and I believe it was like eight or nine dollars. It was very inexpensive. This is like, I have repurchased this before because I think it's really good. It's the dupe for the Saint Tropez uh, bronzing mousse. I haven't tried Saint Tropez actually, which maybe I should, but um, I don't feel the need to. I don't feel the need to, but I love it. They, I get mine in dark. Again, I prefer getting the darkest of the darkest because it does like wash off in the shower gradually. It doesn't make you over the top, like I said, it doesn't make you so, so dark that it looks strange. The only thing about this one is that it does not last very long. I get about three 
maybe four days out of this one as opposed to this that this is on my body for like a good 10 days 10 or 12 days um, I've actually had this one on my body for about five days now I've had this tan and it's still going strong it still looks good and it's been five days this one doesn't last long at all but for the price I really cannot complain because it is so inexpensive so I mean it doesn't matter that it doesn't last as long um, but it gives good color right away, so I really, really love that. If you have never self-tanned before, this is the one that I would go to first because it's so inexpensive. Um, this is the first tanner I ever bought. On, on that subject, I prefer mousses over anything else because it has a color guard. And a color guard is just basically going to show you the product as you're rubbing it in. Um, so I like that because you can get really precise and it won't be as streaky or it won't be streaky at all. Um, oh, the Loving Tan one actually has a really good scent, which I like. Some tanners have that really intense self-tanning scent. And unfortunately, the St. Maurice is one of those that you could really smell the self-tanner after you've applied it and like you go lay down. You can really smell it. This one, you can smell it. You can't avoid that self-tanner scent. But this one is... Um, is not as bad and I don't smell it as much so yeah another really good one another favorite of mine is the Vita Liberata they sell this at Sephora this is a super deep beautiful tan like I'm talking beautiful deep such a luxurious tan it's really really good like I highly recommend this one as well um, I just I love I love it I love it so much this is I'm just I'm just throwing this in here just in case you guys want some, uh, what's the word, some diversity? I really love Vita Liberata a lot, a lot, a lot. Really quickly, I'm going to talk about two that I'm on the fence about, a little bit on the fence about. This is the Million Dollar Tan Mermaid Mousse Extreme. This was sent to me and I don't love it. Yes, I can say I don't like things that are sent to me. I don't lie, I don't love it. It gives a beautiful tan. I spit on myself. It gives a really, really, really pretty tan once... Oh, I stained my finger. How did that happen? It gives a beautiful tan once you apply it, and it does last a really good time, but this fades on me in the ugliest freaking way ever. This is super splotchy on me. Like, it fades in spot. I don't know. I don't know if it's just me. I know that for a while people raved about Million Dollar Tan, but... It, the way that it fades on me is not good. So for that reason, I don't love it because I like it to fade naturally. And I find that these fade naturally. This one does not fade very naturally on me. Not my favorite. Another one that I don't typically love. Um, I love the idea of this, but I just, I don't love it. This is the Tan Cuticles CC Self Tanning Body Lotion in Dark. I wanted to love this because this has really good skincare benefits as well it has acai berry mango butter vitamin e it's super moisturizing like so 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 moisturizing it lives and it leaves a natural color and it smells like freaking coconuts oh my god this one smells like banana boat it smells amazing i don't really smell the self tanner scent but it doesn't have a color guard because it's a lotion so it's so hard for me to use it's not that i, I don't like it i like it but it's so hard for me to use because it's a lotion so like so when I wake up the next day in the morning, I'm like, oh god, it's a little bit streaky in some areas because I can't see where I'm putting it because it's just like a moisturizer. So I'm still going to work with it a little bit more and try to see if I can perfect the lotion. But that is why I prefer mousses because they're a lot easier. If you're a beginner, I definitely go with a mousse over a lotion. Okay, so now I'm going to talk about two products that aren't technically self-tanners, but they're kind of. Um, and this is the Saint Tropez One Night Only instant glow body lotion i got this in an ipsy bag and ever since i had gotten an ipsy bag months ago like a year ago i fell completely in love and i bought like a full size this is literally like a one night only thing this you put on your body and you're instantly tan go out party all night and then come home and wash it off i do think it leaves behind some color so i think you can get away with you with like having this on your body like two days maybe but i love it because whenever i'm like oh my god i want to look really bronze in this dress let me go grab my sink tropez one night only lotion and apply it so this isn't like a mousse or anything this is literally like a bronze moisturizer it's not clear it's not white it's literally brown 
and I just rub it in my fingers and I put it all over my body and I like to do this like three hours before I'm gonna go out because it can stain your clothes if you don't put it on like three or four hours before you go out it can stain but I find that if I put it on like hours before I'm fine I love this it gives me like that Jennifer Lopez glow because it is a little bit like bronzy and sparkly not sparkly but it has like that, that bronze sheen that I freaking love I love this and as for like a natural like gradual tan I really love the Jergens natural glow I get this at the drugstore and what I like to do is I like to mix this not mix this but I will apply like my loving tan self tanner mousse and then every single day I'll apply this just to prolong my tan and once I start using this I realize that my like my tan can last up to two weeks with this because it keeps that like tanner in place it moisturizes your skin which helps your tan last a lot longer and it's just creating that gradual tan so it like makes your tan stay you could also use this without a self tanner and just use this every single day and you'll notice like in about a week and a half that you're getting tanner by the day like it's gradually tanning your skin which I really love I get the one for medium to tan skin tones just because the fair one made me completely orange like the fair like the light to fair skin tones or whatever made me orange this one gives me like a nice gradual tan a lot of people ask me like oh so you tan your body but you don't tan your face that's super weird you go out in public like that and yeah I go out in public like that I don't really care um I actually got this in my BoxyCharm a couple months ago and I haven't used this yet this is the Tarte Maracuja bronzing serum it's for your face and it's like gradually tans your face um, I'm mentioning this because I want to try the, um, what is it, the Bare Minerals, like, faux tan face or whatever. So it's like a tanner for your face. It's meant for your face. Because I want, like, my whole body to match my face and the rest of my body. I'm not someone who wears foundation every single day, so I want, like, it to match on a daily basis. So I want to know if you guys have tried that Bare Minerals run. Um, did you break out? I have very sensitive skin, but if it's made for the face, I hope it doesn't, you know, break you out. So have you tried that Bare Minerals Full 10 face one? Let me know if it's good because I want to try it. Okay, so for this video, I'm not demoing the process of me tanning since I was already tan. Um, and it was just so requested recently. But I will do a whole demo if you guys want to. Leave me comments down below if you would like me to demo this process. But the little tips and tricks that I can give you is always use a tanning glove. Um, you can get things like at Sephora or Ulta or whatever. These are the best because... Um, they don't stain your hands. You take them off and your hands are not stained and nobody wants stained hands. So what I like to do is I take it on my left hand and I pump a pump of uh, the mousse and I start to massage this and I go from my feet up. People do it differently but I like to go from my feet up. So I just rub it in my skin like this. You always want to do it in like circular motions like this. You kind of want to rub like this because that blends everything out and it gets right into your skin and that's the best way to do it. When I start coming up here, I try to go in like um, smaller sections so it doesn't get streaky and I use like less product as opposed to just pumping a lot onto this thing and then just like passing it over and like doing huge sections so you get like streaks in, in the places where you place this. So definitely a tanning glove is essential because it helps with the streakiness and it doesn't stain your hands. Also, a big tip I can give you guys. Have you ever seen people who tan and their tanner is like really effed up by the hands? Mine didn't come out perfect this time, but usually I'm pretty good. You see like this one came out like I missed a spot here. But usually my hands come out pretty good when I tan my hands and sometimes like you see people with like really big blotchy parts of their hand, which is okay, I mean mistakes happen. But what I like to do to avoid that is I do that at the very, very end. When I'm done tanning my entire body and there's still like tanner on the actual mitt, like the residue, I will take it and I will just lightly massage over my hand in sections. I won't do the palms on my hand, but I'll lightly go over my hand in section in between my fingers, wrap my fingers in it and stuff like that because I'm not applying tanner directly to my hand and that's what gives you that weird splotchy hand look. I'm just putting like the leftover tan so it's a very soft version of the tan since you're not applying tan directly to your hand. Does that make sense? I don't know. I used to get the splotchiness and it used to be really ugly until I figured out that that is the best way to do it for me so that I can get nice natural looking hands. Okay, so besides a mitt or a little glove, I highly recommend 
a body scrub and a thick body butter. This is what's gonna make your tan not only last longer, but apply evenly on the skin. A lot of people are like, oh my god, every time I tan, I look like, like I have spots everywhere, it doesn't look natural, it looks really bad. These are the two key elements in self tanning. So this is my favorite body scrub. It's from the drugstore, really inexpensive. It's the Shea Sugar Body Scrub. And I get mine in coconut lime because it smells wonderful. This is a sugar body scrub. I like these more than like salt body scrubs because I feel like they're more moisturizing. And I pretty much exfoliate my entire body in the shower. So that's the first thing I do. I get in the shower and I exfoliate everything I like scrub deep down all over my body and you're gonna want to exfoliate before you tan because you're really gonna get rid of all the dead skin when you put like a mousse tan on your spot on your body without exfoliating it's gonna cling on to all the dead skin and it's gonna look really splotchy and really uneven so you definitely want to most importantly um, exfoliate your skin before self tanning and it's just gonna go on beautifully it's just gonna glad on your skin and also, you're going to want to use a body butter, like a thick body butter, and you're going to want to hit those like key points. Like, I like to get out of the shower after I've done exfoliating, and I'll take this. This is from the Blissful Body. I will link her Etsy below. This is like the most amazing freaking body butter ever. It's so thick and moisturizing and perfect, and I love it. It sinks into the skin. It's just magical. So I like to take a little bit of this, and I'll rub it on my elbows my knuckles, my knees, any of those places because where your skin is really dry, the mousse is gonna cling to it. So if you have super dry skin where you're dry everywhere, then go ahead and slather some moisturizer everywhere if you want. I just honestly recommend doing those key points just like your elbows, your knuckles, and stuff like that because I find that if I put moisturizer my entire body and then I apply the soft tanner, I'm super sticky for like hours after that. So that is how I avoid getting like splotchy in those areas where you tend to get splotchy like the elbows and the knuckles and those weird places is because I apply a body butter before I apply the self tanner. Another thing I recommend is doing it at nighttime before you go to bed. There's a bunch of tanners. I think Loving Tan has like a two hour tan thing that in two hours you're perfectly tan. But I like putting it on before bed and just sleeping through it and then waking up in the morning and taking a shower. Because once you apply the mousse, once it has fully developed, it still looks a little dirty because you haven't showered. You definitely want to shower after your tan has fully developed, like after a good night's sleep, like seven hours or whatever, then you shower and then the tan looks really pretty and it has like all that excess tan just falls right off and it looks a lot more natural. I definitely recommend going to sleep in like loose clothing so you don't stain any of your clothes. With that loving tan, I go to sleep right away and I don't really stain any of my clothes, but then again, I go to sleep in like baggy clothes and stuff like that. So yeah, that is what I recommend and those are my favorite tanning mousses. Again, if you want a demo, um, leave me a comment down below and I'll film that video later on in the future or in the future, soon in the future, I don't know. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this video was helpful. I don't know, maybe it was, maybe it wasn't. I don't know. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in my next video. Bye!